Who are you? What are you? I asked myself constantly. So you know what I did? I looked you up. Yes, you depression. A disease that's most common among people. But are you here? Why are you attacking me? Breaking me down. Depression. You do not define me. I am me and you are you. Depression. You come in many forms. Sadness, anger, and much more. Depression is a disease most people develop over the years in their life due to trauma or a bad experience. Depression does not define me, so you shouldn't let it define you. I was always insecure about the scars on my legs, so for as long as I can remember, I just figured I would cover them with makeup. And then, I got a scratch on my face. Nothing some makeup couldn't fix, so I figured I would just cover it too. Then acne came along. Why not just cover it? And then I looked at my eyebrows, and I thought maybe they were just a little too thin. Why not just fill them in? My regular lip color became boring. Nothing a little lipstick couldn't fix. My eyelashes could be a little longer, so I just put some mascara on. My teeth started to look crooked, so why not just smile less? My hair was too curly, so I can just straighten it. I was too tall, my nose was too big, my lips were too small, my stomach started to not be flat enough. And now every morning, I can't leave the house as myself. I'm stuck with these insecurities, and I feel like it's no way out. So don't fall into the cracks. You're perfect the way you are. If you don't love yourself, then no one will. My name is Felicia Threat. I'm 17 years old and I have anxiety and depression. My name is Raquel Smith, I'm 17 and I live with anxiety and depression. I first started realizing I suffer from it about six years ago when I lost my little cousin and I was moving between homes. First time I ever I experienced like legitimate depression, I was like around 10 years old, but I didn't really start to be affected by my anxiety until I was around 12 years old. Everything was pretty fine until my little cousin's death, you know. He passed at six and we was pretty close. And afterwards, I just felt like I lost a part of myself. Things changed and I felt like my world had flipped upside down and I didn't know what to do. I started becoming like suicidal, you know, crying, pushing everyone away. I locked myself in my room for days at a time, you know. Stopped doing work, my grades plummeted really, really bad. And it was just like, everything seemed to get to me so bad. It was just like, I react and not even remember it. My, my depression was brought on by mostly just like my life at home. I deal with a lot of like emotional and verbal abuse that also kind of triggered my anxiety because it's like it would make me like really anxious and stuff like that to like be around people because I never thought that like people would like me. I didn't want to do anything. I would wake up, drag myself to school and like anything. I wouldn't do work. I would sleep all day. And I stayed in my room, like, I kept away from everybody, so, like, I realized there was really something wrong with me. You know, you do have those days where it's worse than others, like, days where I have panic attacks and I'm vomiting. Like, there's times where I didn't feel like eating was necessary. It was just, life stopped. I didn't know what to do. So I gave up on everything. When I feel like when I'm in like that state of like depression, my body feels really heavy. Like 
it gets really hard for me to even like get out of the bed and stuff on most days. Yeah, I feel really drained. My body feels heavy. Sometimes I just feel numb completely. I don't really feel much of anything. It's just, it's just hard. Other days is just regular days. I go to school, go to work, go to program, and I come home and spend time with my family. Usually I'll like turn on like some music, like some of my favorite songs or something like that to help cheer myself up. Or I'll like call up some of my friends and like see if like we can hang out and stuff like that to like get my mind off of things basically. Living with anxiety and depression is like, it's hard, but it's something you can cope with. Eventually accepting that you have something is the first step and then just finding positive ways to deal with it. I would just want people to know that it's not always as bad as your mind makes it seem to be. And even if it is, it's probably not always going to be that bad. And there's always going to be something or someone that's gonna be there that brings you out of that, that brings you back, that reminds you of like the good that's still there and reminds you of why you need to be here.